Hello, good evening. I am Dr. Pradyut Wagre, Chief Pulmonologist and Chairman of the Punal Institute of Medical Specialities Private Limited from Hyderabad. Friends, this evening we will be discussing about the new variant of coronavirus, which has been named as Omicron by the World Health Organization. This mutant of the coronavirus was discovered in South Africa on the 9th of November in an immunosuppressed patient or immunocompromised patient. And uh, this was rapidly, you know, sequencing was done for this uh, in that country. And then it was duly reported to the World Health Organization when they found that this mutant had significant amount of mutations. It was found that this variant of the COVID virus had 32 mutations on the spike protein, which is very important because it makes this virus more, much more infective than the original strain discovered in Wuhan. Now with this background, let us first congratulate the South African scientists for having discovered and identified this mutant virus and also duly reported to the World Health Organization very fast. Now, why is there so much of, you know, you know a lot of news about this mutant which has come earlier also, mutants were there like alpha, beta, gamma, and delta variant, which recently created a havoc, the second wave in our country. So this mutant is having certain importance as we, as we will be discussing now. So this mutant 11529 called as Omicron is found to be very rapidly multiplying in the sense that the cases in South Africa about one week back were about 200 and then just in seven days they multiplied to 2250 and it is due to the increase R0 value. The, uh, by R0 value, I mean, that is, uh, if a person is getting infected with a COVID, he, he, the number of persons which he can infect. So initially, when the virus came over two years back from Wuhan, the R0 value was one is to three. That is, each person of COVID could infect three people. But now this mutant virus has been found to have an R0 value of 24. That means if one infected person comes uh, uh, gets infected, he can infect 24 people in return. So that is the amount of high infectivity with this uh, mutant type of, of coronavirus. Now what happens, What that is why this uh, uh, variant has been rapidly and very fast uh, named as variant of concern by the World Health Organization. To know a little bit more about what is variant of concern and variant of interest. Variant of interest means that mutant which is mutated from the original virus, but it is not of much public health importance. That is, it is not going to cause significant amount of disease in the community. But variant of concern means it, this mutant is rapidly multiplying. It has a potential of causing significant disease in the community, and therefore it, it has a lot of public health importance. So that is the definition of variant of concern. So this mutant has been you know, designated as a variant of concern by the World Health Organization very fast. Now, a little bit more about this mutation, which we know, we know very little in the last few days, but whatever we know, it shows that the virus has changed its shape significantly with 32 mutations in the spike protein component. See, if you remember, the spike protein is the important component which attaches to the human cell and transmits the virus into the human cell. So once this spike protein gets mutated, its attachment to it becomes much more and much stronger binding to the human cell and makes the virus more infective. Not only that, it has been found that 10 significant mutations have been detected in certain you know, important areas of the spike protein, which are affected by the vaccines. So what happens when we take vaccines, the vaccines are, they develop anti-spike protein antibodies, and these anti-spike protein antibodies will uh, prevent the virus from multiplying. And these antibodies, where they bind to the virus and try to reduce their multiplication. 
So those sites where these antiviral, uh, anti-spike protein antibodies are supposed to bind, in those areas, 10 significant mutations have been detected. So there is a lot of concern whether the existing vaccines will be effective or partially effective or not effective at all. It is too early to say. As of now, the evidence says that these the existing vaccines are effective, they are going to be effective, but only time will say, time will tell us as to how much effective these vaccines are. So then what, what can we do in the present scenario? We have, our options are limited. What we can do is, number one, all of us who are not yet vaccinated can please go for the vaccination. If those who have completed the first dose, please go for the second dose when your turn comes. And don't, for God's sake, don't omit the second dose. Okay, our government, government of India has initiated a significant vaccination program under the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. And I request everyone to please make use of this program, go and take your first or second dose, whichever is uh, due for you. Don't hesitate to take the vaccine because that is the only thing which is going to protect us in the future. Whenever a booster comes, whenever a new vaccine comes, that's a matter of time. But as of now, we have to comply with the two doses of the vaccine. Number two, please follow COVID appropriate behavior. By this, I mean, please wear a mask and wear a mask correctly. Cover your nose and the mouth both. Okay, no, don't just let the mask hang here. Cover it both and see that the entry of the virus gets reduced. And if you don't have an N95 mask, you don't have to worry. You can wear a cloth mask and over and above, you can wear a surgical mask. So cloth mask, you can wash daily and then let it dry and then wear again. And over that, you can wear a surgical mask. But wear the mask wherever you go out, whenever you step out of your home. Secondly, wash your hands frequently. Whenever you touch anything, wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your eyes or the nose because that can you know, uh, get infect you and the virus can enter your cells. Number three, avoid crowded areas, avoid overcrowding. Please don't go to crowded areas. We have seen a lot of weddings, functions, malls, which are all being open, but people are not at all following the COVID behavior. So please avoid these areas as far as possible. Number four, keep your home and office places adequately ventilated. So if you follow these procedures, then 100% we can prevent the development of a third wave by this virus. We have all seen the devastating effects of the second wave, which we had in our country, and nobody wants a third wave to come now. So please, till we get more information about the vaccines and new things, these are the things which we are supposed to do. Thank you so much. And I will be updating you uh, more and more as we get information about this mutant virus. Thank you so much. Goodbye.